Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and today I just received my K-Bar Kydex sheath for my K-Bar fighting knife or utility knife, whatever you prefer. Some might say a survival knife, depending on the distributor. And I wanted to show it to you guys because I do think it is an easy upgrade for the knife. It is an old style knife that I actually really like. I know a lot of you have more modern, more expensive, fancier blades out there that you plan on using for your SHTF survival knives. I just really like the K-Bar. I think it's got a cool history, of course, but it also has the time-tested durability of what you expect from a utility knife. I mean, there's really nothing with this knife that's wrong with it, and there's nothing that it's lacking, so I feel very confident in the knife itself. I feel confident in the platform. K-Bar as a company has always put out a decent product, and it is also a gift I received from my wife many years ago, and I have a sentimental value with the knife as well, so I find that to be important. It seems that you take better care of your equipment or your gear when it has a little bit more meaning than just being a piece of gear, so... Here's the sheath. What's nice about it is it has taken the original leather sheath design, stolen all the good things from it, and then made everything better. So you have the Kydex, which is extremely durable. It has little um, holes here now, so you can actually lash it uh, horizontally to a molly webbing setup of some kind if you want. It also has the retention strap back here, which the original design has as well, which I'll show you the leather sheath next to the Kydex sheath here in just a minute. Um, and then on the back side, you can see it has the belt loop, just like the original leather Kydex sheath does. Um, and then it also has this attachment right here, which is for running more strapping. Um, if you wanna hook it to a backpack or set it up on a chest rig, it it just gives you more options to do that and to be able to tighten it down so you have a little bit of a, um, uh, a closer, a little bit more secure situation for whatever it's attached to. So um, we'll go ahead and take out the knife here. Obviously, this is the K-Bar Utility or Fighter Knife. This is the UMC Edition one. So the sheath has really good retention, as you can tell. And I um, I really appreciate it for that. I feel like it's very secure. The knife's not gonna just come out. And I'll just go ahead and put it back in real quick so you can see one more time. So it has this retention strap on the back, right? Well, that's not really what's holding the knife in. Now it's the Kydex itself. Whereas before the leather held the knife in thanks to gravity, but that's about it. This Kydex has a lot of retention. And right here, you see these kind of like little bulbous things right here on the sides. So those little bulbous, spots right there are meant to be pushed down on when you go to draw the knife so you take your thumb you push down and you pull the knife out and it comes out no problem at all very smooth when you push it back in you can hear the audible click that the retention has and there you go nice and secure as you can see the knife isn't coming out it's not going to just fall out on you or anything like that um, and it's very secure and it feels like it's going to be a nice solid situation so uh, one thing I really like about it is the additional lashing holes like I just talked about. I think that's very nice to be able to attach it to whatever it is you need. It's also so that if you have it in almost like a drop leg configuration, you can add additional strapping there to give the knife a little bit more secure uh, retention against your leg. And obviously that's a really nice upgrade that the original leather sheath didn't have. So being able to have a little bit more retention, a little bit more security, feeling like the knife is in the, the sheath a little bit better than it was originally in the leather sheath gives me a lot more confidence in using this platform as a survival knife for bugging out shtf or whatever other scenario might arise so like i said i'll go ahead and show you the leather sheath comparison so here's the original leather sheath that the knife came with and you know, honestly, it did a good job. It's nothing that, you know, was lacking in the department of being able to hold a knife on your belt line. And I have worn it that way many times. And obviously, I never felt like I didn't have the knife in a secure way. But I did want to upgrade just for a little bit more versatility. And like I said before, being a little bit more modern. Not to mention Kydex is much more durable when it comes to the elements. So hopefully when it comes to moisture um, or being out in extreme heat or extreme cold, it might hold up a little bit better than the leather. Now, as you can see, there's nothing wrong with the sheath. Go ahead and pop the knife out here. Throw it back in its original home. All right. And, you know, I will say it was a nice looking package, right? Um, definitely something that was clean and very um, traditional, which is what I liked about it. I mean, this is one of those knives that everybody knows people had back in World War II. Um, it's very 
historical in that aspect and it had a lot of utility and use back then and there's nothing with it today that makes it any lesser of a knife than any of those newer things out on the market what i will say really quickly about the knife itself it says seven inch blade this is a serrated model as i said before in some other videos i like serrated for a few reasons, I don't like it for others, but for a utility knife that I want to be able to do more than just one thing or another, I you know don't mind having a little bit extra utility, which is what I think the serration provides. And I also just want to be able to cut some really thick rope just in case, right? So anyway, this is the knife that I like to have. It's uh, made out of 1095. I think it's Crovan is what they call it, and I believe that's because it's chrome uh, vanadium, which is a little bit better of an alloy than your usual 1095 high carbon steel. So, you know, I guess that's what K-Bar says anyway. Um, I'm not a huge uh, metallurgist by any means. I don't know everything about every single kind of knife steel there is, but I do know that from what I could find research-wise, the 1095 Crovan is a little bit higher end than your average 1095 carbon steel. So um, though that's what this knife is made out of. It's full tang. It's got the pommel or the butt right here that you can easily um, hammer things in with or obviously bash if you need to. It's got the leather grip on it, which is uh, classic and really not really lacking in any kind of department other than the fact that you know, it's uh, organic material versus being G10 or something like that, I guess, right? Or micarta, which is, you know, pretty nice, I'm not going to lie. But all in all, I really like the knife, and that's why I decided to give it a little treat and get a new sheath for it. So, back to what the video is about, this Kydex sheath. I think it's an upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and um, try it out on my next excursion. I'm going to wear it on my belt line. I might even use some additional uh, webbing to kind of strap it to my leg and see if that extra retention is worth it or not. Um, I'm also going to try to attach it to one of my Molly packs and see what kind of a setup I can get from it and if I you know, would prefer something like that with it versus just carrying it on my belt line. So, all in all, a really nice addition to um, a great original platform of a knife, the K-Bar Utility Fighting Knife. I think that if you're going to use a K-Bar for the aspect of survival for uh, SHTF or um, anything else like that, bugging out, whatever it might be, it's not a bad way to go, but you might as well upgrade. I think that this sheath itself cost me about $14 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the comments below for it so you can check that out if it's something um, you're interested in. And, you know, at, at the same time, I know there's some aftermarket um, Kydex out there that is basically made for these same exact knives. Um, so if you like that kind of stuff and you want something with more color or if you want something with a little bit more um, retention or functionality for whatever purpose it is you think you're going to use it for, then obviously that's not a bad way to go either. And if you're just cool with the old school leather sheath, I don't have anything wrong with it. I just wanted to try something a little more modern and upgrade like I said before. So all in all, I am impressed with the sheath. I have nothing negative to say about it at this time. We will go ahead and see if it actually attaches very well to one of my packs or if I want to try to wear it as like a thigh rig setup or something like that. I'll let you know how that goes. But I just wanted to share with everybody a new purchase I made and something that I think turned a traditional style knife into something much more modern that's going to be a little bit more along the same lines as the stuff that I already have right now. So, you know, it's okay for you to modernize some of your older gear rather than trying to replace it. And trust me, 14 more dollars to spend on this knife is nothing compared to the two to $600 fixed blades out there that are super high end and really nice. Uh, but in my honest opinion, not necessarily something you have to have. So um, just wanted to share with y'all if you have any questions about it or if you want to know if I have any issues with it when I'm trying to see its functionality in use, give me a heads up in the comments below. I'll let you know. If you don't mind, go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right of your screen. It's really helping the channel out to get some more traction. And I'm going to do some more gear reviews for you guys because I know you don't necessarily want to see my face I just want to, you know, put it out there once in a while to let you guys know that you're probably better looking than me. So you're welcome for that. And without anything else to talk about on this sheath, that's going to be it for Magic Pro.